Hello students, today I am going to teach about double circulation. Double circulation. So in generally in aves and mammals, aves and mammals, in aves and mammals the double circulation is present. So, in AS and mammals, the heart can be divided into four chambers. How many chambers? Four chambers. The upper chambers are called atria, the lower chambers are called ventricles. Okay. So, both, uh, for example, for example, just, just to imagine, this is the heart. So, heart, four chambers are present, atria and ventricles. The upper chambers are called atria lower chambers are called ventricles so these atria and ventricles are separated by septas so completely the four chambers are completely divided so always the right side this is the right side deoxygenated blood is circulated in the heart the heart always right side of the heart right side of the heart deoxygenated blood is circulated left side of heart oxygenated blood is circulated Okay, left side of the heart, oxygenated blood is circulated, right side, deoxygenated blood is circulated. So, these oxygenated, deoxygenated blood cannot mix in the, this double circulation. Okay, next double circulation means the blood flows twice in the heart, means the blood flows two times in the heart. So, that is why that is, that is called double circulation okay blood so blood flows twice twice through the heart next and also here two circulations are there two circulations are present in the heart two circulations are present in the this double circulation they are first one pulmonary circulation pulmonary circulation this is also called lesser circulation lesser circulation lesser circulation second one is uh, systemic systemic circulation or greater circulation greater circulation so two circulations are present in the uh, in the heart so that's why this circulation is also called double circulation so let us we will see the these pulmonary and systemic circulation okay so here this pulmonary circulation means here first of all in the heart for example here for example this is the heart okay okay so this is our heart these are atria right atria right ventricle left atria left ventricle okay so first of all the right atria receives the deoxygenated blood right atria receives the deoxygenated blood this blood flows into the right ventricle okay so from here the blood flows into the where the pulmonary arc through the pulmonary arc or pulmonary artery pulmonary artery so through the pulmonary artery it reaches to the lungs Okay, blood first of all the right atria receives the deoxygenated blood that blood flows into the right ventricle through the right ventricle by the pulmonary artery from here from the right ventricle blood flows to the lungs through the pulmonary artery so after the, after that here the blood purification process is takes place okay so the oxygenated blood now that oxygenated blood again flows into the 
left atria through the pulmonary veins through the pulmonary veins it reaches to the heart which part the left atria so means first of all pass the blood flows into the right atria from here reach to the right ventricle from here it flows to lungs from heart to lungs so in the lungs purification process is takes place then from here from here from here again it flows to the it travel to the then right atrium okay so this circulation is called pulmonary circulation means that circulation is takes place in between heart and lungs so that's why this circulation is called pulmonary circulation so here the circulation in between in between heart and lungs the circulation is takes place in between heart and lungs so that is called pulmonary circulation okay so we will write in the flow chart first of all the right ventricle the right ventricle blood pumps the blood to lungs it pumps the blood to lungs through the pulmonary pulmonary artery pulmonary artery so from the lungs it reach to the left left atria left atria through the pulmonary vein pulmonary vein so this circulation is called pulmonary circulation or lesser circulation which means only here the exchange process here the blood flows in between heart and lungs only one organ so that's why here this uh, circulation is called pulmonary circulation next about systemic circulation so systemic circulation is takes place in between heart and body parts this circulation is takes place in between heart and body parts so here from here the blood the oxygenated blood from left atria to it flows to the left ventricle okay so from here left ventricle to it flows into the systemic systemic arc so through the systemic arc it reach to the body parts different body parts in our body so in body parts what will happen the exchange process is takes place so oxygen is dissolved in the diffuse into the tissue at the same time carbon dioxide diffuse into the in this blood now blood is collected from body parts then it finally op uh, by the cavel veins here through the cavel veins cavel veins pre cavel vein and post cavel vein again it will opens into the or it will open it will uh, flows into the right atria so this circulation is called systemic circulation this is systemic circulation here this is pulmonary circulation systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation so here the systemic circulation we can write in the flow chart form first of all the left ventricle so left ventricle pumps the blood to systemic arc systemic arc through the systemic arc it reach to the body parts body parts from the body parts through the cavel vein cavel veins through the cavel veins again opens into the or flows into the right atrium so this circulation is called systemic circulation or greater circulation okay so this is about double circulation so this double circulation is very well developed in apes and mammals so in apes and mammals completely the deoxygenated and oxygenated blood completely separated completely separated they are circulated in our in our heart so in double circ double circulation means 
the blood flows twice or two times from the heart through the heart the blood flows two times through the heart or here in double circulation two circulations are takes place pulmonary circulation one is a pulmonary circulation second one is a systemic circulation so pulmonary circulation means circulation between heart and lungs the circulation takes place in between heart and lungs so that is called pulmonary circulation systemic circulation means the circulation between heart and body parts so that circulation is called uh, systemic circulation or greater circulation